TAMD stands for Tracking Adaptation and Measuring Development. It's a tool or a framework which is developed largely to assess uh, development effectiveness of adaptation and it basically shows the linkages between uh, adaptation and development outcomes. And when we say development outcomes, it implies its impacts on poverty, its impact on livelihoods, its in impact on improving income status, because adaptation or climate change adaptation is largely linked with uh, development outcomes. TAM offers a bespoke framework which can be customized according to country needs. That's the unique special point of TAM. And uh, many other framework which exist for measuring climate change adaptation are quite top driven or I'm not saying that all of them are, but uh, somehow there is so much responsibility or requirement to demonstrate results on a shorter notice. Uh, so it's, it's difficult to evaluate something uh, from a country context uh, which is owned by the country when there is a pressure to show results quickly. And TAM doesn't have that issue. Uh, that's why TAM is more contextual, TAM is more country-owned, and TAM is more customized for fitting the country needs. Tracking Adaptation Measuring Development is an initiative which has been commissioned by the UK's Department for International Development. We're a small team of uh, climate change researchers particularly interested in adaptation and particularly interested within adaptation in its developmental effectiveness. How can we assess how well uh, investments by governments largely but also by private sector and civil society, how, we, how well these investments render developmental outcomes Adaptation has to overcome a development deficit if uh, the climate vulnerable poor are to be able to overcome the vagaries of uh, climate change, both now and into the future. So uh, TAMD, Tracking Adaptation Measuring Development, is an initiative to build through action research a framework that practitioners in developing countries can use um, in a pragmatic, um, effective way to assess um, the way that adaptation, climate adaptation, leads to developmental outcomes. The initiative will conclude in September of 2014, by which time we expect to have five uh, bespoke evaluative frameworks developed in different countries, five different countries, and we also anticipate um, results on how TAMD has managed to strengthen national systems as regards to planning and evaluation. What we're trying to do with TAMD is to develop an evaluation framework that looks beyond the uh, simplistic measures of spending and outputs uh, versus inputs uh, and develop a framework that actually addresses whether adaptation is actually effective, whether we're actually seeing tangible uh, improvements in, in people's material well-being in the face of climate change. So there are a number of challenges here. One is the problem of time scale. Climate change unfolds over time scales that may be considerably longer than most uh, development and adaptation interventions, and adaptation itself is a process that may unfold over time scales that are longer than we're normally used to dealing with uh, when we're trying to uh, track and evaluate development. There are development objectives from the government and the interventions on climate change adaptation here. And the main interest from government is to link these to the government development objectives. Okay? So any program that TAM is going to flow has to keep in mind that there's a need to see what's going on with intervention on climate change adaptation and how they are related to development issues.